we are headed to a call where the customer said the fan ain't working outside now we didn't have a whole lot of calls it is like the 4th of February and yesterday it was 78 degrees and because of the abnormally warm weather there were some tornadoes in the south <clears throat> but you know it was warm and rainy this morning so we're fixing to go over there and see what's going on stay tuned here we go Condenser fan motor was not turning. All right, thank you. I had it set to cool inside because it was 81 degrees in there. For the life of me, I don't know why people or how they can live in a house is 81 degrees <clears throat> all right so we got a basically an x13 condenser fan motor I have another video where I show how to convert these to a PSC but let's check that's going to be under warranty I am not certain they're going to have this let me first let's do our checks and make sure all right this wire right here which goes to the contactor is my 24 volts so anytime that contactor pulls in this should be turning we just have to make sure it's getting power which I think are are these these two ground common and then 24 volts so before I um, put power to it I'm gonna make sure all that's hooked up Now I'm checking to make sure that this blue one goes to my common, which is, it's hard to see, but it is the last one down here and it's hooked to common. And my yellow is this one. So as long as this is hooked up and this is getting 24 volts between the two, there's one leg of power. And there's the other one. So it's getting power 24 seven. <clears throat> we just have to verify that, I mean, if the contactor's pulling in, this should start up. I would just add that the only thing that breaks this signal from going to the module is this up here because it breaks it from, it keeps it from running when it goes through defrost. So <clears throat> those little terminals actually make it really easy to do, put in a PSC motor but because it's under warranty, that's probably not gonna happen. I'm gonna turn it on and make sure I've got 24 volts on both sides of that. And after that, it's just replaced the motor. I just jumped red to yellow and my fan came on. did 
not pull in. And those are my two wires going to my contact. Alright, so why wasn't it running just a second ago? When I kill the power, I may have reset this board. It's got some LED codes here, so. Alternating. We're in five minute time delay. So let's watch this for just a second. All right, I, I reset this board when I killed the power the first time and now the thing is working. If that happens again, we're gonna have to replace this board because there's nothing wrong with the motor. And it clearly was not running when I walked up. So I just have to kill power and tidy this back up and advise the homeowner. All right, so we got power. I was afraid that breaker was gonna fail. And we're just gonna watch it for a little while because there's nothing wrong with this motor. On that one, I did stick around and check pressures and heat and cool. Clearly that condenser fan motor was not running when I walked up on it. If I didn't show that very well, I apologize. But I'm hesitant to go just pick up a new board because the new boards can do the same thing so I, I'm I'm hesitant to just go pick up a new board because I don't feel like I would be fixing anything because I've seen the new boards do the exact same thing so we're just gonna watch it and if it happens again then I'll replace the board Thanks for watching guys. I'm on to the next and I will see you on the next video.